Hi guys, it's Ashlyn Giza YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about friends and the pandemic. Okay, so what I have to say about this is I was a very social person when I was younger. Um, I met a lot of people at a place called Super Skate here in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And um, like that was just like the hot spot or whatever you want to call it back in the 90s when I was a teenager, a preteen. And um, so we would all like make plans and stuff on the phone um, when you had cord phones and we would meet up, plan to meet up at Superscape. So um, I made a lot of friends doing that, like meeting people there and stuff like that. And then I actually figured out that a lot of people that I met there were, ended up going to the same middle school as me. Um, because this is be, like a little bit before I entered middle school. This is when I started being social. So I found out when I went to the middle school that I went to. Um, I'm not going to say where I went, but um, a lot of people that went to the super skate um, went to the school that I went to. So that was pretty cool. And... I became really, really close with a lot of them, um, and uh, we used to do not so good things. I mean, we we were kind of a group that like smoked marijuana and and drank and stuff, and um, then went to super skate and went to movies, and um, we tried to sneak in movie theaters too, and all that that preteen teenager stuff that people do you know just getting into mischief and adolescence and all that but um it was it was I I don't regret it because it was super fun um and I met a lot of good people so and some I'm still even friends with today um but you know as as um after all that super skate and um meeting up with everyone at people's houses and um, movies and stuff like that in the mall and everything all that kind of died down um, once high school hit people started growing apart and like I wasn't friends with a lot of people that I used to be friends with which sucks because some of them I miss a lot but like at the same time I know they're kind of assholes now they're not the same people they used to be when we were young and I kind of stayed the same Ashley because um, I, I, uh, didn't really change my views on a lot of things. So, and I think that's what, what changes people a lot is, um, their perspective on things change and mine haven't really that much. Um, but as far as like, um, doing drugs and, and stuff like that and drinking and, and whatnot, I, I grew up when it came to all that because of course, obviously, here in Iowa, smoking marijuana and stuff like that is illegal. Drinking's not, but it's something I choose not to do um, because um, I had, uh, my mom uh, has kind of an alcohol problem. My, a couple of my friends have alcohol problems. Um, my ex-husband had an, a very alco bad alcohol problem, which I talk about in abusive relationships, one of my previous videos. And, uh... I'm just over it. I'm done with it. So I don't do that anymore. So I some views change, but I mean, I feel like that's that's what changes people. And um, this, of course, the obvious, the stuff that they go through. Um, a lot of my friends or old friends, um, like, had it a lot more easier than me. And and I and I know that just because. I mean, being a cancer survivor at 36 years old isn't a very common thing. It You see it, but it's it's not an everyday thing that you hear. Like, most of the time when you hear things like cancer survivor or anything like that, you hear that in, like, more of, like, a 40, mid-40s person or older. You don't hear, like, an early or mid-30s person having cancer. So, um, you do, but you don't often. So... That right there in itself is kind of like I I have one notch of experience that I know a lot of my friends old, or old friends don't. 
which doesn't make me better at all, but it just makes it harder for me to um, stay friends um, with certain people because I've been through things that they haven't. And that's what changes people and what makes people grow apart. It, it can. So um, I lost a lot of friends like because of that too, because of uh, each of us have our own experiences and some are more experienced and th more things more things happen to one person than it had to another person. Um, so, and uh, I hate saying this too, but um, I'm, I'm not saying any names so I can freely say this, but a lot of people that I knew in middle school and high school actually turned out to be richy, bitchy, and snotty. And um, it's okay to be rich. It's okay to have money. Um, that's not what makes you snotty, but... You don't have to snob people or not say hi to them anymore or act like they don't exist because they don't have the same money as you. And um, I know that a lot of people couldn't understand where I'm coming from when it comes to that. Um, I, me and my husband, we are, I'd like to say, middle class. We're not rich, but we're not poor. Um... And we do have struggles sometimes, just like everybody else does. But, um, you know, when we do have money, we like to help friends. We like to help family. And um, I, I, again, I won't say names of, like, who we've get, loaned money to and stuff like that. But we do things like that sometimes. And we don't brag about it on Facebook. I know I'm saying it right now, so it seems like, oh, well, that's contradicting because you just said you don't brag about it. But I, these are my YouTube videos, and I'm just simply explaining. We help people, but here's why I'm mentioning it. Because if me and my husband ever needed any type of help at all from any of our old friends or any like anything like that, they would not help us. We um, lost our home due to a derecho here in Iowa, and if you watch my previous video, I have a video talking about the derecho and what happened, and we lost our home, and we really did actually need help at that time because what happened was, the reason why we lost our home is people are thinking, first thing, well, why didn't they get home insurance? Well, we tried to. It was either that... that um, our home was too old or or that it was way too much money for the price we paid for the mobile home. So we were still in the middle of looking and then the storm happened and the, the trees fell on it and took our home. So we were really in need of a lot of help and it was really sad to say, but like a lot more strangers were helping us than our own friends or people that we knew from high school were helping us because we made like a GoFundMe page on Facebook because we actually were need in need of help because um, we don't really like to ask for help a whole lot, but we, you know, it was one of those things we actually needed help. Um, and it was pretty sad to find out that a lot of friends and family, uh, there, there was less of them helping us than there was strangers. So, you know, that's that's my one of my points I'm trying to make. People change and and um it's a good thing because you know when they do when people do change and when they do do things like that to show you they don't care, they're they're only doing you a favor by you know showing you who you don't need in your life. Um so but and then uh I also wanted to bring up um, like the pandemic and how it did not affect me really whatsoever, really because well it I can't say whatsoever it did somewhat, but not really like when I'm talking about like social wise because like when we had to everyone had to lock everything down and not go anywhere and only go to the stores quickly to go grab something that's the time I'm talking about like when it was really bad still. Um, I, it didn't really affect me at all when they were saying that you can't really have big social gatherings and stuff like that, or limited people were to, people were limited to go into stores and stuff like that, because I don't really, 
I'm just not social in that kind of way anymore. I don't want to be around a lot of people because people do judge. And um, just like what I was telling you guys about my friends judging me and my husband and not really, you know, talking to us anymore or seeing how we're doing just because we don't have the same money status as them or, or we didn't have the most perfect lives. Um, so they don't want to be around people that have had, you know, some trials and tri tribulations in their life. They want to be around people that have had, um, like really nothing bad happened to them or no drama or they want to have people that, that at least don't talk about, don't act like they've had any struggles, which is just ridiculous to me because we've all had our struggles. There's just people that talk about it like me because I don't care. I am who I am, and I don't really care what people think about me. I do to a certain extent, but not really. Um, and, but uh, a lot of people that I know, that I knew, unfortunately, they like people that don't, that, you know, um, don't really have troubles and have a lot of money and um, dress really nice and stuff like that. And that's all good. I'm not... I'm not, like, judging anybody. I, I am, but I'm not. It's confusing how to explain it to somebody or to the public when I'm trying to talk about friends and how just how people can be. But, um, you know, like, I, I don't think that any of the people that I used to know, I feel like I should we shouldn't have uh, all of us been broke apart like this because we were all super close. We all knew where we all came from. We knew each other's parents. We knew where each other lived. Um, we knew what schools we went to. We had each other's backs. Like, that's how it was. And um, as we kept getting older and older, the less and less and less we, we had each other's backs and the more and more and more we had weapons drawn against each other, so to speak. We, we drew against each other. So... It, it's sad that people grow apart and it's sad that, you know, um, things can't stay the same as when we're young all the time. I do have one good friend that I just re reunited with, which I'm really ecstatic about because we used to be friends um, all the way back to when we were five years old and me and her were super close and um, unfortunately she had a death in the family and... I reached out to her about it and then it got us reunited so we're re rekindling our friendship and I'm really happy about that so I thought I would talk about friends today and then that stupid pandemic but yeah so when it was happening and they were you know our governor here Kim she she was saying you know less than 20 people at, at gatherings and stuff like that I was like yes because of my panic attacks and just how I don't really like to social with people because I'm socially awkward. Um, I was like, yes, this is good. I don't, it's an excuse not to go anywhere. You know, people are like, hey, come over to my house tonight. We're just having like three or four people. And I was like, well, you know, I don't really want to get sick, which was true too. I didn't want to get sick. I didn't want to even have, risk the coronavirus or any of that or even just regular flus or colds or nothing because of me being a, in bad um, health and being a cancer survivor and stuff. But none, none of the less, um, it was nice because I'm like, no, I don't really want to get sick. No, I, the coronavirus, but so it was, it was, a it was a good, um, time for me to, for everyone to just kind of not go out as much <laughs> and, not, you know, but no, I mean, I like socializing, just not as much as I used to. I feel like people got mean and, um, some, some people I even knew got crazy, um, ended up getting locked up, ended up, uh, uh, into really bad heavy drugs and got addicted and unfortunately fell off the wagon, like didn't end up doing so good and it's not that I don't care about them anymore it's that I can't have those people in my life because I was a past addict and also I have children you know period it's not that I don't care about those people or I'm judging them 
So it it sucks. It it really sucks, but um it's a part of it's a part of growing up. It's uh it's life too, period. So that's just the way it is, but I thought I would hop on and um talk about all this because friends and family and all that are and um this pandemic that happened to us is really all important really is and I've over the years had a lot of close friends of mine pass away I had a friend of mine commit suicide um rest in peace to him I had a a best friend of mine die um from liver issues and he was um, paralyzed as well so rest in peace to him too and I my, you know I've had many other many other um, friends that have passed away way too soon way too early way too young because like I said before I'm only 36 so we shouldn't be dying um, and stuff like that um, so but I just wanted to make this video and let everyone know that um, you know it's okay to grow apart from people it's natural and it's okay to have the same friends that you've had forever it's good friends you know are are you always need one or two to have or or a couple more you just want to have at least a few friends that you can reach out to and talk to when you feel alone you know um, we all need a friend whether you know it, even if you're a person like me who doesn't really like to socialize anymore doesn't really like a whole lot of people um, we all still need at least one or two people to talk to we all need to reach out so and you know if you don't if you really don't have a whole lot of friends or you really seriously don't have a friend I'm right here you can reach out to me um, I, I do, I, I have panic attacks, but I do better. I do good when it's just me and one other person. So, um, you can reach out to me always, but I just wanted to talk about that today and I'll be on with another life topic tomorrow. Thank you guys.